Hi, my name is Joan Kirkbride. I have had the privilege of training many foster caregivers during my years working with the Okanagan Foster Parent Association in the interior of BC, and I know the importance of continued learning. As with any profession, a foster caregiver needs to keep current, learn new things, upgrade and advance skills, which will benefit you and the children and youth that you care for. As Maya Angelou said, when you know better, you do better. As stated in the Foster Family Handbook, fostering is a challenge and will almost certainly require you to learn new information, techniques, and skills. You can improve your parenting skills by taking part in ministry or support agency sponsored workshops or community programs. Required Education Some education for foster caregivers is considered mandatory. These required components include pre-service orientation, usually taken prior to fostering, the BC Foster Care Education Program, taken in the first two years of fostering, safe baby training. This is not mandatory, but required in some, but not all, service delivery areas in the province. This valuable training includes understanding all the needs of prenatally exposed infants and how to provide this specialized care. Always check with your resource social worker about specific education expectations for caregivers in the area where you live. Pre-service orientation, training and curriculum. Pre-service is required training that should be completed before caregivers sign a contract with MCFD or a delegated agency. It is designed to give foster care providers an introduction and understanding of the basics of what it means and how to be a foster parent. Pre-service covers the following topics. The Child, Family and Community Service Act. This is the legislation that guides all the work done by MCFD and caregivers. Social workers' roles and responsibilities. The details about who does what at the Ministry of Children and Family Development. Positive parenting. Understanding the parenting style expected of foster parents. Standards for foster homes. What is expected of all caregivers? protocols and concerns in the caregiver's home, how they are dealt with and supported. Challenging behaviors and special care needs, including understanding the effects of abuse, neglect, and trauma, grief and loss, understanding Aboriginal culture and traditions, partnership with birth families, supports and self-care for caregivers child growth and development. Each service delivery area in the province may deliver the pre-service training differently and the topics may vary somewhat. Check with your resource social worker for the details of how and when to receive the pre-service training. BC Foster Care Education Program and Curriculum. Sometimes the foster care education program is referred to as the 53-hour training. This training is also mandatory. Caregivers are allowed two years to complete this longer training program and you may already have foster children in your home. Again, check with your resource social worker for the particulars of how to access this training. The foster care education program covers important topics such as caring for children, cultural responsiveness, effects of caregiving, and many more. There is always something to learn. We can never know everything there is to understand about fostering and raising children who have been through trauma and who have unique needs. Whether you are new to fostering or have fostered for a long time, ongoing continuous education is a must. Expanding your knowledge base is an important part of your role as a foster caregiver. Over the years, you will have a lot to offer the children in your home and the other foster parents in the community. We hope you enjoyed this segment of BCFFPA's 
BC Foster Basics. If you need further information or assistance regarding foster parent education or any other fostering subject, please call 1-800-663-9999. Or check out the website at bcfosterparents.ca. Also, please don't forget to visit the BCFFPA YouTube channel regularly for more topics such as agencies at your service, self-care for caregivers, and many more.